And to get started, this little piece here is usually attached down, down here. And I just used a screwdriver to kind of pry it off gently. So that's step one, is getting that piece off. You can see it. <laughs> let's see. I'm horrible at this. Wow, let's... Yeah, that piece there. Okay, I'm just keeping all of my extra little pieces in a little container so I don't lose them. So once you get that off, you want to very gently, I put my thumb here and have my other fingers here, this hand over here, gently prying off this turntable. And when you do this, you want to be very, very gent gentle. Okay, gentle but firm, firm but gentle. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Maybe get some leverage. I'm gonna stand up now. Okay, maybe do a little twisty. Okay, well, this is just like real life, y'all. The, the tutorial people never know. There you go, so I, I got it. I had to put my other hand underneath. Anyway, you want to be moderately gentle because while you're doing this, there is this little belt. This belt goes around here and it hooks onto this twisty part here. Me touching it with my oily fingers is probably a bad thing, but I don't know that and I don't care that much because I don't know that. Uh, anyway, that's how you get the turntable off. So maybe for some of you that might be your problem that the little belt is broken and that's why yours isn't working. Um, I've gone through a few different steps. Uh, my problem, um, I'll pull this out and actually, yeah, so when you get to this point, you should still have this screw screwed in here. I took it out because it was a hassle and I'll show you why in a couple minutes here. Um, but at this point, what you can do, if you want to lift this out, um, let's see, I'm not sure exactly what I did other than some finagling back and forth, maybe twisting this out a little bit, because what really happens is you've got this connector, like uh, this little screw thing over here, probably just use this as my pointer, out here, and then you have this other part with with the screw over here. So those are your two points. So maybe I loosened up the, um, the screw first and then jiggled it back and forth, got it out. Um, so I also ended up snipping one of the zip ties inside here that was holding this further down. Um, it was just, again, another hassle, something I didn't need to deal with. So, uh, let's see, let's flip this around in the best way possible. Um, okay, maybe like, like this. This is probably good. So now we're getting to the point of where my problem came in. Okay. Um, so you see this screw part. This is where this screw usually is. And there, we've got this little metal thing at the bottom. Well, this metal thing, when I was screwing this in and out, because that's how you get the record player to work, this little bottom metal part kept smacking into these wires here and smacking up a little bit. And so not only has that caused um, these wires, like the adhesive that was keeping them, um, like keeping them within that little, that little divot, not only is that a problem, but you'll notice that red wire back, like down, up there, down there, this one. Yeah, that red wire is not connected right there as it should. And so because that's not a closed circuit like it's supposed to be, um, the, the spinning of the wheel doesn't always work. And so what I'm going to try to do, I'm not going to do this part on camera because um, I am, I just don't need that sort of pressure, 
but I'm going to use a soldering iron. I got this one at Walmart for like $11. Anyway, it comes with the soldering iron, comes with the wire, comes with an extra needle thing, and it even has a little stand to like lift, uh, to like place your, your iron. So anyway, yeah, what's included? That's what's included if you want the specs. Um, I think it will be just fine for what I'm trying to do. I genu genuinely just have this one little thing that I need to solder down. Okay, while I'm waiting for my soldering iron to warm up, I am actually going to show you how I'm going to do this. Um, so I got some clothes to help fill in this extra space. And I put, so the, the needle and the, the arm of the record player is pointing down and it's kind of tucked inside the little divot here. And then I tried to tape down my little working area, trying to keep that red wire from moving. So I am going to try to attempt this all by myself. Might be a complete mistake, but I also know that by doing it by myself I'm not going to be annoyed or upset or angry at someone else if this doesn't go right but if someone was helping me and it doesn't go right I'm going to be very bothered with them so even though it's not their fault right it's my fault um so I am just going to take the consequences here either good or bad um so this should be a pretty simple process I think um, I don't actually even know how long I'm supposed to wait for this to heat up, so I should probably read that somewhere. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I feel like this is, I, hopefully this is a good idea. And then I've got, I've got my stuff here, which I should start pulling out, I guess. Anyway, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've never soldered anything in my entire life, so, <laughs> yeah, this is... This is life. This is real life training. So I'm starting to wonder if I did this wrong. It's getting dark and smelling smoky. Maybe that means it's ready to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, this might be a really horrible idea. Okay, um, I'm not gonna film this part, but this is just for reference. Mine is smoking, I don't think that's normal. Also, is I practiced while it was still cold, I practiced touching the tip there and having this over here. So I have practiced in theory. We'll see how this goes in real life. Well, there you have it. I um, I think successfully did the soldering there. I did end up soldering a little there. And then as I started working on it, I thought, well, this is stupid because it's technically working just fine and I might just be wrecking it. So I decided to stop there. You can see a couple little areas where I got carried away and the burning kind of help happened there. So, okay, first I just want to mention, I had forgot to say at the very beginning um, to lower your the arm of the record player and hook on the little security thing while you're doing everything else. That way it doesn't spin around, doesn't break or anything. So I did just plug it in and turn it on and now is the moment we will see when I move this over here. Hopefully the connection has closed out properly. Ah, it has, it has, it has, it has, yay. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can really tell, but this is spinning. Okay, this is so good. Oh my goodness, wow. So that is, um, that feels good. Wow, I didn't know if I was actually gonna be able to do it. So yes, um, accomplishment, that is great. Okay, putting this back together has been kind of a pain, so I want to tell you what I did, what seemed to have worked. So, first is um, you twist this back in if you had to remove it, clamping this back on. You can, this part just like you can bend off a little bit, and that's fine. Um, but anyway, at this point, I have it mostly screwed in with a lot of leeway there because I need that to go in this little area here. On this side, I've flipped that little thing upwards. That way I can direct this into this little, like a little divot area just fine. I ended up putting this on before trying to put it, uh, putting the table back on before um, 
like getting everything else connected because this, well, and it's still on apparently, <laughs> this um, belt was proving very difficult trying to get on otherwise, but it's, uh, it's quite simple. I'll put this back down in safety mode. Um, it's quite simple to get the belt on if you um, have this all out still, and then this just goes straight on easily. When you're doing it down here, you have to do it kind of from a, an angle because you have this part here, which is really annoying, honestly. So hopefully, um, I might as well just try this live, but let's see if I can. I'm gonna start with, let's see. Well, maybe both kind of at the same time. Putting that there that there oh sweet what a dream okay that's nice so now I just need to kind of uh, lift over here and I'm going to uh, well let's see maybe I won't even bother you know what? I don't think I'm really going like yeah this is a little loose but I don't think I actually care let's see it's still turned on yeah now it's working just fine. Um, maybe I will kind of tighten this a little bit. See if that is helpful at all. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. I'm genuinely satisfied. 